Hey everybody, K Reed here. So today we're going to be talking about how to get by the wind and atomic snail. Both of them are incredibly easy to get because they are available from the same source. Now, by the wind and atomic snail are both available through Prime War. Now, these are available from Prime War from the repeatable chest from the winner's rewards. Now, bear in mind, both atomic snail and by the wind have only been gotten from my testing and asking around from the 1000 point reward. So this video will act as a way to help you to be able to gain as many points as possible while playing Crime War, especially with the release of hard modes coming out this upcoming week at the time of recording this video. Bear in mind that any tips that I give you are from the PvE server, so if you're playing on PvP, things might be a little bit different. Additionally, all the following footage was taken from my live stream over at twitch.tv forward slash KOEG, so if you guys want to go ahead and check me out, that would be much appreciated as well. But without further ado, let's get into Crime War. Now, Prime War has a lot of different mechanics that allow you to generate points. The goal for the easy mode is to be able to obtain 1000 points, which is incredibly easy given that you have the right tools. So that way you can understand why we're doing things the way that we are. Let's go over some of the point breakdown. There are four categories in which you wind up gaining points. Silver Plague Vanquishing, Monster Elimination, Defense Structures, and Team Support. For Silver Plague Vanquisher, you want to make sure that you're doing as much damage to the boss's shield as humanly possible. For the easy mode, you're looking to do at least 500,000 damage. For the monster elimination portion, you're looking to deal damage to the boss directly. Additionally, you should also be looking to kill some of the regular enemies as well as elite enemies that wind up spawning during the encounter. You're looking to deal 1 million damage to the boss directly and killing up to 50 of the additional enemies that wind up spawning. For the defense structure portion, you want to be able to build defenses around the area, equaling out to defending about 500,000 damage. These are things like building walls, building fences, things of that nature. Bear in mind that other players are also trying to accomplish these goals, so please be aware of that and also respectful of other players' time. So build a couple of defenses here and there, but allow other players to be able to do the same if they so please. For this team support, you want to be able to use Stardust Shield Walls to be able to block damage. You want to be able to heal yourself or other players for about 5,000 HP. And you want to be able to critically rescue one or five players, which means rescue them while they're down, for more additional points. With all of these point sources, it should be relatively easy to be able to obtain the points needed to be able to get the 1000 reward. Now bear in mind that with the release of hard mode that some of these point values might be different, but ultimately the method to be able to gain these points is relatively the same. Blocking damage, reviving players, dealing damage, the silver shields, killing enemies, and then finally one of the easiest ways to obtain another 400 points is by clearance time. To be able to gain all the points, you need to clear it within 5 minutes, then 10 minutes, and then 20 minutes, respectively. Now that we understand the point breakdown, let's go over some of the specializations that would help you in the event that you are going to be doing Prime War regularly. Bear in mind that not every player needs these specializations. At least some of the players that are participating in Prime War would be ideal to have. You can still obtain over a thousand points without having any of these. The first specialization in our list would be Ultra Grenades. Ultra Grenades is a specialization that gives you a higher blast damage, additional bonus damage against buildings and vehicles. The higher blast damage is what you're looking for to be able to deal additional damage to the Silver Plague, or the Shield. Another specialization that would help you would be Red Plasma Rounds. This gives you the formula to be able to craft Red Plasma Rounds for your Gatling Cannons. They're extremely expensive but overwhelmingly powerful. There is no bullet drop in its trajectory, deals a ton of damage, and has a large explosive radius, and can be kept for 24 hours. A specialization that pairs well with Red Plasma Rounds would be Gatling Cannon Power Blast. This allows Gatling Cannons to deal plus 30% damage, and when your territory exits combat, the durability is recovered to 100%. Luckily, this also works during Prime War. Now, these are just some examples of specializations that you can want to pick up. There's a ton of other specializations that will increase the damage from your drones, from your other throwables like your grenades and molotovs. There are also specializations that will allow your rocket launchers to do more damage. But I'm going to present you with one additional way to be able to do silver break damage that you may not be thinking of and will only cost you 2,000 star crops. Huge thanks to my buddy Zelray, who's been putting out amazing guides here for Once Human, and I would urge you guys to go ahead and go check him out, especially since he plans on doing a full extensive overview of Prime War. First things first, you're going to go to the Wish Machine, and you're going to go and select the Blueprint Shop. From there, you're going to go to Heavy Firearm Blueprint, and you're going to buy the MGL. This is a heavy grenade launcher that, with six consecutive hits from a single magazine, will grant you Tumult and Trigger Fortress Warfare at the next reload. While in Fortress Warfare, refill one grenade from your reserves every one second. This is an incredibly powerful weapon, especially when upgraded to Tier 5. And due to the resource cost, it is much easier to be able to craft grenade launcher rounds than it is rocket launcher rounds. 
The idea is that you're crafting eight grenade launcher rounds that deal relatively the same amount of damage versus one rocket every craft. Additionally, thanks to Fortress Warfare, these grenade launchers also buff themselves. And if you have a Fortress Warfare build, that it's even going to do more damage. Now, other things that'll help you and everybody else at Prime War to be able to do silver break damage would be high explosives because these deal a large amount of damage. The only drawback is that you do require to be close range to the enemy to be able to throw them. Additionally, you can use improved Claymore mines, but these require you to be able to place them before the encounter starts. As we said before, you can be able to use Stardust Barriers to be able to block some of the damage, but keep in mind that they do require some placement beforehand because you do want them to be able to take the damage in the first place. One small tip is that Stardust Barriers are especially useful when it comes to the Ravager boss in Winding Ridge. And then finally, using improved grenades and improved Molotovs will actually help you out. While they may not do a lot of silver break damage as they've been nerfed since the closed beta tests, they'll still be able to do enough to be able to help you in the event that you don't have anything else. Even more so since improved Molotov cocktails and improved grenades are farmable. As you can see, building Gatling cannons at a bunch of walls to be able to take the damage is an easy way to get some of the defensive points. And I shouldn't really have to explain how to heal yourself and to be able to revive other players to be able to gain those points. As you'll see at the end of this clip, I didn't really do a lot of silver break damage, but I did wind up getting a 1400 rating, mostly because of my block damage and my actual boss damage. So with a little bit of time and effort and grinding, you should be able to obtain as many of these points as possible. Now, some of these points will be a lot easier to obtain in hard mode, but for now, this brief little guide to be able to help you get by the wind and atomic snail should be able to tide you over until that happens. If you have any other questions, be free to go visit me on my live stream or wait for the Prime War video that me or Zellray are going to be putting out in the future. But with that being said, thank you guys for your time as always. Join the Discord down below, follow me on Twitch, do the whole, you know, spiel. Thank you guys again for watching. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.